Hi guys, welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking. Welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking and today what I'm going to show you is my homemade pumpkin bread. So let's get started. So in my mixing bowl I'll mix 15 ounces of pumpkin puree. To my pumpkin puree I'm going to add in two cups of sugar. I have my oven on 350. To the two cups of sugar, I'll add in one cup of oil. Two thirds cup of water. Four eggs. I'll drop them in one at a time. To this I'll add in one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Then I'll mix this until it's all well combined. Now that it's all well combined, I'll take my bowl off my mixer. To my mixture, I'll add in three and a half cups of flour, two tablespoons of baking soda, a teaspoon of nutmeg, and two tablespoons of pumpkin. What I'm going to do is sift this mixture into the mixing bowl and then I'll fold it all together. I have a 4 by 10 baking pan that I greased and my oven's on 350. Now that I sifted everything together, I'll fold it all together. You want to scrape the sides of your bowl. This pumpkin bread is really good. And you'll bake this pumpkin bread for about 50 to 60 minutes in your 350 degree oven or until the toothpick comes out nice and clean. Once everything's all mixed good, then I'll put it in my four by 10 baking pan. You want to scrape the bottoms, make sure everything's combined. Now I'll pour the mixture into my baking pan. Now I'll shake my pan, make sure it's all level. Now I'll place this in my 350 degree oven and about 50 to 60 minutes or until the toothpick comes out nice and clean. So into the oven it goes. Now I'll check on my pumpkin bread. Oh yeah, that's looking good. A few more minutes. Now I'll check on my bread. 
Oh yeah, that looks good. Perfect. It's ready to come out of the oven. Now doesn't this pumpkin bread look good? So now I'll let it cool before I remove it from my pan. Now doesn't that bread look good? Came out perfect. Well, thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Cheryl's Home Cooking. I'll see you guys next video. Bye-bye.